Now we will discuss different tools used in fitting and fabrication lab. File. It is tool which is used to remove fine amount of material from workpiece during filling. File is made up of high carbon steel. This is the reason we use it on iron and steel workpiece. Typically the files are made of stainless steel or nickel titanium. The term coarseness refers to how rough or smooth a file is. Coarse or rough files have their teeth spaced far apart, whereas fine or smooth files have their teeth much closer together. Files are produced in a variety of different coarseness to cater for a range of different uses. File length. File length is measured from heel to the point of file. Types of files. There are two types of file. Single cut file. This type of file is known so because one diagonal cut is present on cutting surface. This means that it will cut in one direction. Since it cuts less, the main advantage of using this type is that it will give a good finishing and shiny surface. But it has also a disadvantage that because of slow cutting it takes too much time. Double cut file. This type of file is known so because it has two diagonals cut on the cutting surface. This means that it will cut in both directions. Since it cuts more, the main advantage of using it is that it will take less time. But it has also a disadvantage that it would not yield a smooth surface, and finishing would not be good. But still we can have benefits that whatever we want to remove more and more material, we will use double cut file. Try square. It is used to check the level of workpiece and the angle, 90 degree. It is used during filling. It is consisting of thick beams sometimes called stock. It also consists of thin blade which is set at the angle of 90 degree. It also uses as a ruler. It is usually made up of steel. Bench vise. The bench vise is a holding device that is used to hold the workpiece while application of multiple processes that is filling, tapping, dyeing, cutting etc on the workpiece. Bench vise has two jaws one is fixed, stationary jaw, and another is movable, sliding jaw. Sliding jaw slide over the slide face, when the handle is rotated in the clockwise direction, it is subjected to tight by mean of the thread which is mounted on the rod. The body is not movable to any direction is called a fixed body, and the lower part of bench vise is called base. It is made up of cast iron. Scriber. It is used for the marking purposes by the removal of material from workpiece. It is a thin high carbon rod with a sharp tip. It is commonly made up of high carbon steel. Steel rule. The steel rule is an easy and quickest means to measure the linear dimensions of a component with limited accuracy. It is frequently used in the workshop. They may be rigid or flexible depending upon the thickness and the quality of steel used in their manufacturing. It is commonly made of high carbon spring steel. Ball peen hammer. A ball peen or ball pane hammer, also known as a machinist's hammer, is a type of peening hammer used in metal working. It has two heads, one flat and the other, called the peen. Rounded the ball peen hammer is useful for many tasks, such as striking punches and chisels, usually performed with the flat face of the hammer. The peening face is useful for rounding off edges of metal pins and fasteners, such as rivets. Ball peen hammer heads are typically made of heat treated forged high carbon steel or alloy steel. Center punch. It is just like a needle, which is used to highlight the point that we mark by the scriber. We use ball peen hammer to apply pressure on the needle. It is made up of mild steel. Tapping tool. It is used for the internal threading in the holes, which is made by the drilling machine. They are known as a tap. A screw like tool that has threads like a bolt and two three or four longitudinal flutes or grooves and that is used to cut screw threads in a nut or a hole they are three type of taps tapper tap plug tap bottom tap it is made up of high speed steel or carbon steel tapper tap tapper taps typically have eight to ten threads that are tapered the shape of this tap helps the thread to start they can be used to start a thread before using a plug or bottom tap plug tap plug taps have about three five threads these are extremely popular and are used for through holes or to start blind holes. Bottom tap. A bottoming tap has nearly no taper with a thread count of 1 to 1.5. These are used to get close to the bottom of a blind hole. Hacksaw. A hacksaw is a hand-powered, small tooth saw used for cutting metal pipes, rods, brackets, etc. Hacksaws can also cut through plastic. 
The hacksaw has a U-shaped frame and a handle at one end. Hacksaws have small pins at each end of the frame that receive a blade. Blade is made up of carbon steel or high-speed steel. Drill bit. Drills are cutting tools used to remove material to create holes, almost always of circular cross-section. Drills come in many sizes and shapes, and can create different kinds of holes in many different materials. In order to create holes, drill bits are usually attached to a drill, which powers them to cut through the workpiece, typically by rotation. The drill will grasp the upper end of a bit called the shank in the chuck. It is made up of high-speed steel. Reamer. A reamer is a tool that is used to widen the size of a pre-existing hole in a metal by a small amount to leave smooth sides and edges removing any burrs or rough edges. It is generally made up of high-speed steel material. Die and die stock. Dies are cutting tools that produce external screw threads, also known as male screw threads. They're commonly used with die stocks, which are tools that hold round and hex dies to ensure proper alignment and uniform threads. Dies are used to create new threads, and to repair worn and damaged threads. It is commonly made up of cast steel or mild steel.